YouTube was good. Hey, look, your boy didn't mess around and made the defensive player of the year. And a lot of y'all finna be on punishment. That mean a lot of y'all finna be on lockdown. Look, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we got a lockdown, ladies and gentlemen. One that is gonna be able to take control of the court. So look, we ain't gonna hold you up. We ain't gonna waste no time. We're gonna get straight to it. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. So here, you already know when it comes to the builder, we're gonna go left hand jersey number we're gonna go number eight for that boy kobe you feel what i'm saying we gotta do it 2k24 and we're going shooting guard position <clears throat> and then we're also going 6-8 you feel me when it comes to the 6-8s eights, the 6-8s six eights last year were offensive not saying that you can't make them offensive this year but for me i want my 6-8 build to be a defensive monster and that's exactly what we did when it comes to the weight we're gonna go one 86 you know we ain't gonna be too light but we ain't gonna be sluggish out here we're gonna have enough weight on us to make something happen out there on the court wingspan we're going seven five this is what a, what our breakdown looks like when it comes to those stats right there now when it comes to the attributes the attributes we're gonna go over the attributes first and then we'll break down the badges that this build gets so starting off with close shot we're gonna go 60 on the close shot um and i know a lot of people haven't played the game yet and those that have and if you've seen it this game is totally different from 2k23 you feel me so you can't go into this game with the same mindset um with our driving layup we're gonna have we're gonna go 77 you know some things that mattered last year don't matter this year and some things that didn't matter last year matter this year you feel what i'm saying now with our driving dunk we're gonna go 86 86 on the driving dunk you don't really need too much driving dunk for first off it's too expensive you feel what i'm saying and this is not to be an offensive uh crazy build this is more so geared towards defense but you will be able to do what you need to do to either get on that rim or get a shot up you feel me um when it comes to our standing dunk we're going 45 45 on the standing dunk and for finishing we are done we're done there with finishing no more investing there now when it comes to the mid-range shop we're gonna go 65 on the mid-range I don't know who shoots mid ranges. Um, that's not a, whoever's not a shot creator, uh, but 65 should be enough to get it done. You know, if you time that custom the right way. Now for our three point shot, we're gonna go 78. If you can't hit with a 78, my boy, you need to go see Lethal Shooter because a 78 is plenty enough jump shot to be able to green a shot in 2K24. Now, when it comes to our free throw, our free throw is gonna be a 78 um i mean a 79 and that's it when it comes to shooting we ain't touching shooting i'm so glad we ain't got to worry about badge points this year man it feels good now with pass accuracy you're going to be be able to throw steamers you feel me you're not going to get everything you need when it comes to passing but you will be able to hold your own on the court and get the ball where it needs to be now for our ball handle we're going 45 with our speed with ball we're going 35 we're not being the we're not the main ball handler so we don't need to be trying to um, show our sigs off and do none of that let our point guard do that you feel what i'm saying um now interior defense our interior defense we're not gonna be weak down here we're going 74 we're gonna have a little bit of a little bit of defense in that interior to make some shake you feel me to make them think twice before they try to come in there and mash square now for our perimeter defense where our, per our perimeter defense is going to be 94 we're going 94 and like i said after we do these attributes we're going to go over the badges so you can see exactly why we pick these specific stats um and for our steel we're going to get a 91 we're going to get a 91 steel on this build and an 87 block an 87 block that's plenty enough for a 68 you feel what i'm saying now what is this the old board old board we're going to go 87 also um no i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry we're gonna go 74 74 i misread that now for our defensive board we're gonna go 84 84 on the d board and that's it right there we're not investing no more points um attributes when it comes to the defense now for our physicals we're gonna go 84 on the speed and I'm not sure, I think there's still plus four when you go into Gatorade, but even if you didn't go, in, go into Gatorade, 84 speed is um, still enough to be able to move across the court. You feel me at 6'8"? 
um, especially when you understand that defense is defense is built around speed and not acceleration. And speaking of acceleration, we're going 78 on the acceleration with the strength. We're going to have a little bit of strength. You feel me? We're going to go um, 78 when it comes to the strength. We're going to No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. 71. We went 70. We went 78 on the acceleration. We're going 71 on the strength vertical. We're going to go 80. 80 with the vertical and then here you know we maxing this out to 99 and that will give us our 99 overall 68 defensive player of the year now let's go back up so we can go over these badges real quick like i said i wasn't too concerned about finishing with um this build but you do and if you don't know any badge that you see here, you obviously meet the requirement to get it. So if you see it on uh, bronze, you see it on silver, you see it on gold, you have the potential and opportunity to get this badge if you do what you are supposed to do on the court to unlock it. So anything you see here, you're able to get it. And if it's bronze, you already start off with your bronze badges. So you start off with your bronze badges regardless. So we are already going to start off with fearless finisher on bronze. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to have spot finder when it comes to um, what is this badge for? It proves the player ability to get open um, on off ball. So that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, pro touch if you do you know this year is layups are op so if you're using that meter and that timing we get pro touch on gold and it, it, it's already crazy out there you get giant slayer on gold and we also get whistles on silver that's cool so when you go up you're gonna be getting those m ones especially if you time that um you time that meter that layup meter you're gonna be going to that free throw line now uh when it comes to our driving layup we're also going to be getting um the spin cycle which will give us the ability to make um improve our players ability to make spin layups and dunks so we get that on hall of fame we get two step improves the player ability to make euro steps and cradle layups and dunks we get that on hall of fame and i already said we get whistles what i did miss um was float game so we get float game on gold we get scooper on gold um we get bunnies on gold aerial wizard and acrobat on silver and we get slithery on silver see they're all over the place because they're different tiers so as i'm going down some of these are you know they're adding some in and some we already went over now when it comes to the 86 dunk you will get the uh posterizer badge on silver silver is more than enough like i said i'm not trying to be super op when it comes to finishing at the rim i'm more focused on um defense when it comes to this build but you do get the silver posterizer silver slithery precision dunker um you get silver and this will help you time that um the meter for the 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 your dunk when you go up to dunk the ball to help you time it so yeah pretty much that's what it is when it comes to finishing now when it comes to shooting you do get bl uh, blinders on bronze you get catch and shoot on silver you get dead eye on bronze you you get pretty much all your shooting badges on silver and if you can't work with the silver shooting badges you just don't need to be shooting if you can't hit from the corner you feel me um with spot spot finder and uh green machine and dead eye and catch and shoot then just hang it up bro hang it up you need to be an inside big like no cap no cap so that's pretty much what you're getting when it comes to um shooting you don't get any limitless range you do get agent threes um on bronze and you get dead eye with six eight you'll be shooting over smaller guards um you get claymore guard up open looks um all that and this is a, a badge i didn't even know you get so you get free points which helps you shoot free throws make your free throws when it's a, in a clutch situation which is cool so if you are a pro and player if you're a person that plays rec you might want to pay attention to your free throw this year when it comes to um obtaining that badge now with pass accuracy you don't get bail out um unfortunately but hey make the right decision don't be shooting um when somebody's guarding you or you know just make the right decision you get break starter on silver you get diamond on silver needle threader on bronze this was kind of a bummer for 80 just overall in general because i like needle threader so if you want to get needle threader on silver or above you're gonna have to go 84 um pass accuracy or above to get that higher tier badge you get relay passer um touch passer you know you special delivery, you get you get pretty decent but I'm, I'm more concerned about the attributes to where i'm 
gonna be throwing a steamer to my teammate whenever I need to. Uh, ball handling, we're not worrying about that. We're not worrying about speed with ball. Now, this is where it gets good. You feel what I'm saying? So <clears throat> all of these, I went back and forth and I, you know, I went just going tick by tick to see what I can unlock and what's useful. Once again, you could customize this build however you wanna customize it. This is what I feel comfortable with. To me, this build is to help your center and to harass the other guard. This isn't like something that's just gonna be crazy. 99 still going crazy. This is a, a build to really play your role, to have extra defense to help your center and to harass the other guard and get a turnover. So we get anchor, silver anchor for, um, for this build. We get Hall of Fame workhorse and we get post lockdown, which is if you've seen them post scores, at least you got it on bronze to be able to do not just no pushover out there. You feel what I'm saying? So we get perimeter defense at 94, which uh, uh, we get clamps gold, which is extremely useful. We get ankle braces, Hall of Fame. We get challenger on Hall of Fame. Fast feet. This is a badge, a popular new badge that um, everybody was looking to unlock for a lock uh, lockdown. And we get it. We get it. Um, gold so it speeds up the launches and cuts defensively to uh, assist in staying in front of um, a ball handler so that's going to be super useful when it comes to you guarding those shorter guards out there that's trying to be getting little on you getting loose and you'll be able to clamp them up and stay in front of them um, and we get pick dodger on gold which is always effective and we get 94 feet on hall of fame this is another badge a new one for 2k24 that is um, a must-have when it comes to having a lock on this game and we get a hall of fame you know it allows defenders to harass and bother ball handlers in the backcourt so when somebody's trying to come up there and they're trying to you know set up the play and get everybody in a position and you come and hit them with a trap you feel me if you got two locks this is going to be this is going to cause havoc out there. You know, it's a, a, a you're going to go you're going you might you might have to, you know, see a police officer. You might go to jail for harassment. You know, you might get a fine or whatever, because that's exactly what you're going to be doing out there. And we get workhorse on Hall of Fame and we get off ball pass. Um, I don't know how you feel about off ball pass, but I've always liked this badge. And this year it's super effective because it allows you to really create contact on that off ball to where the defender, I mean, the offensive player trying to get open won't really be able to get open um, or at least to that spot quick because you would be all over him. Pause. And we get a 91 steal. I like this. 91 steal gives you gold glove and it gives you gold in interceptor and it gives you gold right stick ripper so if you want to go ahead and invest um the other eight attribute points to get 99 glove you can tweak it and do that i feel comfortable with having gold glove because a lot of other players a lot of guards probably gonna have um um unpluckable in hall of fame but some won't and if it works like last year anytime you run into somebody that has a tier less unpluckable than your glove you have a higher chance of ripping them and speaking of ripping them you do have the right stick ripper on gold so on top top of the glove along with the right stick ripper badge you should be out here plucking the ball loose left and right you feel what i'm saying and also with the 87 block we unlock gold chase down artists hopefully chase downs are fixed and they're better than last year i have seen a lot of people get chased down since i've been watching some gameplay and other streamers um in 2k24 so hopefully it's fixed because we get this on gold and it'll be super effective combined with the silver anchor and the silver pogo stick so we should be out here really you know causing havoc around the rim and when it comes to rebounding, we get box out beast on bronze. We get rebound chaser on silver um, and we get post playmaker on silver. Once again, this build is to help your center and to harass, harass the other guard on the other team. Get a steal so you guys can go out there and accomplish what needs to be accomplished. So we're going to keep moving defensive rebound. Um, I think, yeah, this just go ahead and clarify what we already said. And you can see the physicals help us get certain badges. There was one particular badge that I wanted to show you that we get because we have 71 strength and that is immovable enforcer on bronze. If you have a build 
or if you plan on making a build with high strength, pay attention to getting that badge because it will be super effective um, when it comes to defense along with post lockdown. That's the two badges that you want to have. If you can get them at any tier, try your best to get those badges um, because it's only going to help you out there on the court. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. All of these don't matter. Uh, just shows you what else we get for this. So let's go ahead and go into what the shades of this build is and what this build is called. Um, I like the builder this year. It's not too bad. So Toronto Net Sacramento. Um, Doug Christie, man. Y'all don't remember Doug Christie, but the name of this build is called a defensive menace. We're going to be out here a menace to society bullying and harassing anyone who runs into us on the court at 6 8 man i love that name that name just sounds so fitting to the play style um of this build you know especially when i'm on lock i'm not playing i'm locked in i'm hockey i'm 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 not just spamming square but i'm throwing elbows i'm throwing headbutts and i'm 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 hitting you you feel me with the draymond green every time i get a chance man a defensive menace man i love that name there's a lot of new names out there but let me know what you think about this build let me know if you will make it let me know what you would change on it let me know if it's a dub or if it's an l um let me know something in the comment section you feel what i'm saying but this is another one i do have guard builds and i might possibly be making a center or a 610 or something like that so i'm gonna keep them coming man just let me know just let me know pause um so yeah hit that like button subscribe turn on post notifications it's too easy i love y'all and we're going up this year i'll see you in the next one peace